These claims against Meghan come as the Duke and Duchess's Oprah interview is days away from airing. As royal expert and Finding Freedom co-author Omid Scobie told Access Hollywood, Meghan and Harry are likely to share behind-the-scenes details about what it was really like to work within the institution of the monarchy. People already have their popcorn ready because they think this Oprah special will be one big tea session. But, uh, you know, we have to remember that this is still a couple that want to uphold the values of the royal family. It was only a week ago that Harry was singing the praises of his grandmother and grandfather, who is currently in hospital. You know, they've managed to maintain a good relationship. But one thing that many people don't really understand about Harry and Meghan's relationship with the royal family is that they see the institution of the monarchy as a very separate machine. Though that's the home of the men and women in grey suits that we heard Diana talk about many years ago, and they feel often cause problems for them, leaking stories to the British tabloids, uh, uh, interfering with their scheduling so other members of the royal family could be more prominent with the work that they do. These are some of the behind-the-scenes details that I think we'll hear from the couple for the very first time. The interview will also mark one of the first times Meghan has spoken out in a long time. Meghan felt very frustrated when she was a working member of the royal family, but she was uh, very much a woman without a voice. Uh, when there were inaccurate reports or misinformation in the British tabloids, she would love to just go out there and correct them. And it's the palace's no comment approach to these things that did a lot of damage in the long run. We kind of saw a caricature of Meghan developed uh, in the British tabloids over here. And it's the person that many believe that she actually is. And I think Meghan has always been wanted someone to be someone that can get out there and share her story in her own words. And it's taken a really long time to get to that place. It reminds me of a story uh, that a friend of her shared uh, with me from their wedding in 2018. Uh, Meghan famously gave a speech on the night, which is kind of a little bit away from royal protocol. But when she stood up to give her words to the room, all of her American friends stood up and cheered because they finally felt like Meg had her voice. They weren't used to seeing Meghan in the public eye, but saying absolutely nothing for so long. And so this will be another moment like that for her friends. Very excited to see her sharing her side of the story, finally. responsibility that I take really being a part of this family and the platform that comes with that is an incredible responsibility that I take really seriously. I think the way Meghan tried to work in the palace didn't fit in with how other members of the royal family worked. Uh, I know aides who have one meeting a month with their principals. Harry and Meghan were popping in and out of the office almost every day for briefings and updates. I think they felt that she'd come in and, you know, kind of be a sleepy little royal. But Megan was like, no, I need to know the people, the places I'm going to talk to people. I need to know nationalities. I need to know what languages. There have been reports that she comes to meetings with tons of questions and binders. Work ahead of time. She's aggressively emailing her staff at six in the morning. She couldn't do anything right. Now, if every American got in trouble because they sent emails too early in the morning, I'm like, isn't that what you're supposed to do? Women don't need to find a voice. They have a voice. They need to feel empowered to use it. And people need to be encouraged to listen. Suddenly, Megan's charm that was her hard work and her perseverance was being turned into a problem for the royal family. I cannot believe it's 2020 and we're still faulting women for being ambitious. Now an absolute wonderful queen in waiting. She was incubated into being a princess. She's learned never say anything, always smile, always have lovely hair. Yeah.